Well, sunshine and blue skies and a bit of a warm up compared to that bitter cold earlier this week. Storm Track 3 meteorologist Katie Melvin joins me now. You know, Katie, I was driving to St. Louis yesterday and back this morning and all across the highway. I could see the trees kind of shimmering with the uh, ice on the branches like that behind me and behind you and it was really pretty. Yeah, there's still a lot of snow on the ground and it, yeah, it is a lot warmer. You and I just spent the last couple days outside, so luckily oh, yes. we're inside today. I'm happy for that. Um, but yeah, the temperatures have warmed up a lot. So just earlier we were seeing single digits and now we're up to the upper 30s, lower 40s. So it feels really nice outside. Community conditions right now aren't so bad across the area. So these, those are those um, upper 30s, lower 40s I was just talking about. Marion seeing 39, Carbondale and Mount Vernon seeing 37, Harrisburg 39, Paducah 40, and Cape Corrado at 37. So in relation to where we should be, we're not doing too bad. Here's a look at the Almanac. So normally this time of year we should be in the lower to mid 40s and that's exactly what we saw today. So we're doing good and we should be doing good for the most part for the rest of the week. So temperatures across the area in the mid to upper 40s and some of us have climbed up into the 40s. You can see Fredericktown here 40, Ellington 41, and then towards the north, we're down into the 30s. Mount Vernon seeing 37 and Marion seeing 39. So tonight, temperatures are expected to drop. We are still in February, but they're not going to drop too much. We are expected to get down to the upper 20s, and those clouds are going to come in thanks to a cold front that will be making its way into the area. So tonight, it's going to still be cold, and there could be possible ice. You know, we had a really sunny, gorgeous day. We definitely expected some of that snow to melt, and that could refreeze tonight since we do expect to be down into the 20s. Um, and we're also going to see some clouds. So Monday we see those clouds in the morning and then Tuesday we're still dealing with some clouds, but it will at least be warmer. Taking a look at radar and satellite across the area, everyone in the country right now for the most part fairly calm. We do have a few scattered clouds right here, but for the most part we should see a really gorgeous sunset tonight. Here we have Saturday, so we are clear right now. Here's the cold front that I do expect to move in. This is tonight at midnight and with it, it will be bringing a lot of clouds. So at least it won't be rain or snow or anything like that. We just expect a lot of clouds with this system. So luckily, like I just said, no precipitation expected, and we really don't expect any for the next week. So a nice calm week after a really busy last week. As always, you can download the Storm Track 3 app, follow along with us, and in case the weather does change, we do expect some rain, you'll be the first one to know. Take a look at our forecast high. So this is the best part of the forecast, I would say, today. It's looking really good. We are expected to climb into the upper 40s, into the lower 50s midweek, that's going to feel really good and that's sticking with us at least through the end of the work week. Taking a look at our seven day forecast, we are expected to cool down a little bit tonight into the 20s, climb up into the 40s tomorrow morning, be in the 50s during the midweek and stay kind of close to the 50s for a couple days and that's going to feel really, really nice. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, last week I don't particularly enjoy being out in the cold. <laughs> uh, obviously really important to be out there to, you know, tell about road conditions and everything, but I'm just happy for this warm up because that kind of took all the energy out of me having that cold weather. <laughs> oh, I had a blast outside. I was <laughs> loving it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.